Fran from Flourish Complete Physiotherapy. I work with Complete Care Health in Ellenbrook on a Friday. I'm a continence and women's health physio, but I also see men. I see ladies before and after they have their baby and later in life and gents um, before or after having prostate surgery. Today I'm going to show you how we use the real-time ultrasound to assess whether or not you're using a pelvic floor correctly. Lots of ladies come to see me and they say, I've done pelvic floor exercises before, it didn't make any difference, but you need to have a real-time ultrasound to know if you're actually doing it correctly. Most ladies, when I first see them, are not. Okay, so this is where we ultrasound. I put the ultrasound on the bottom of um, the ladies, or the gents' tummy. And then we can see on the ultrasound, the television screen, your bladder. Okay, so that sort of a regular circle in the middle of the screen is this lady's bladder. At the bottom is where the muscles sit. So Sharon, focus on your pubic bones, squeeze and hold your wee muscles forward, and then relax. So what we can see in this position, you can see a lift. Can you do that again for me, Sharon? On one side goes up the screen and on the other side it drops. So I wouldn't actually get Sharon to do her exercises in this position. I would get her in another position. The other thing that I'd assess is loading. So Sharon can you lift your head up off the bed for me? And back down again. Can you do that again for me? Can you see how we look at and back down? So that side that wouldn't lift before is dropping quite a bit when Sharon moves her head. It's normal to have a little bit of a drop, but not, not a large one. So that just tells us that the support is not so good on that side. So this is the screen that we took. You can see the bladder in the middle. The muscles sit down the bottom of that sort of irregular circle. Can you focus on your pubic bone, please? Squeeze and hold the way muscles. And then relax. So what we saw then is that line where the muscles are is dropping slightly. What we actually want is for those muscles to lift. So in this position, I wouldn't get this person to be doing their exercises. I'd teach them in another position so that we can get things to work more effectively. You can also assess the effect of loading. So can you lift your head up for me? And you can see the bladder base drop there and back down. So that's relevant for when you know knowing what you should and shouldn't be doing at the gym. Both things are equally as important and it gives us information that we can reassess so that I make sure that I give you the right exercise advice.